in this question, we're given the subatomic particles. So we're given the number of protons, the number of neutrons, and the number of electrons. And we're going to use that to find the nuclear symbol for this atom. OK, so let's start with the number of protons. We're told that there are seven protons in this atom. So the atomic number That's always equal to the number of protons. So since we have seven protons, we know the atomic number is going to be seven. And that's the one on the bottom of our symbol. So we can fill that in in our answer box here. OK, great. We've got the atomic number. Next, the mass number. That's the one on the top of our symbol. And the mass number is the number of protons. All right, number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So in the question, we've got seven protons plus we have eight neutrons. So that gives us a mass number of 15. And that's a number that goes on the top in our nuclear symbol. So we're going to have 15 up here. Awesome. OK, so we've got our numbers sorted. Next, we need to decide which element is this an atom of. So we know that the element is given by the atomic number, and the atomic number here is 7. So let's go and look at our periodic table. And we're looking for the element that has atomic number 7. And remember, atomic number is that number in the top left corner of our square. And remember, atomic number is the number in the top left corner of our square. So let's look along. Number seven is here. Nitrogen is the element that has atomic number seven. So heading back here, our symbol should be for nitrogen, which was the capital N. To which element does this atom belong? It belongs to nitrogen. It's important to remember that the only thing that determines which element it is, is the protons. It doesn't matter how many neutrons we have. That tells us the mass number when added with the protons. But it's the atomic number, which only is the number of protons, that tells us which element it is. The electrons in this example are equal to the number of protons because it's a neutral atom. But it's the protons that tell us which element we have.